What's going on guys, Ryan with Jenna Patrol here. I've got another video for you, another unboxing. You saw the title, you clicked on it, you're excited to see it because it's a freaking Star Wars figure. And it is, of course, Axe Woves. Axe Woves right here, the only of the trio from Costco Reese and Bo-Katan, not cool enough to get his own head sculpt, which does kind of suck. Um, but it, I, I don't know, just weird. Anyways, I got mine from Pop Collectibles if you're curious where I got mine. There's a link in the description below, it's where I get all my stuff. What I want to do today is I want to look at the figure itself or we'll get through some of the details, some of the posing, that kind of stuff, and compare it to the Death Watch Mando, Bo-Katan, maybe do a little bit of a fight scene in the posing section. Maybe have a little fun with it. I don't know. And see, is this something you need in your collection? Is it not? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, we got our box right here for Axe Woves, and uh, it looks like a normal Star Wars box. Nothing exciting here, although I am enjoying, you know, since a while back, they started adding these things for a pop of color. Uh, that is nice. But this is TMS 070 Axe Woves right there. We got a little photo on the side. That's, that's the, nobody cares about the box. There is, oh, I'll tell you this, there is. This other thing that's in the bottom of the box, when you take clamshell out, you get this little backdrop thing. This is the weakest flipping backdrop. <laughs> it's so terrible. Uh, hot toys. Like, this looks like somebody went, uh, I mean, I know what this is from. It's from the Mando. Or, or they went and rescued, anyways, whatever. This looks like they went on Google Images, found like found something, blurted it out, blew it up, and then said, hey, look, we'll put it in as a backdrop and it'll be awesome diorama piece. Uh, it's This sucks, so whatever. Uh, you will never see me use those because they I don't like them. This, however, is a nice photo of the actual figure with some nice Photoshop trickery going on with the blast effects. I dig that. It's pretty nice, right? Let me get this out of here. The figure itself is uh, basic. There's not a whole lot going on here. This is a figure that maybe not a lot of people are gonna get, but it's a freaking Mando. It's a Star Wars trooper guy. I, I gotta have it. Uh, but in here, you're gonna have, uh, you got a blaster, you got a jetpack, got some flame effects, you got some hands. Yeah, that, that's it. All right, so the figure itself is actually quite fantastic. If you like Death Watch Mandos, or just Mandos in general. It's got a fat suit in it. Posing's gonna be kind of a chore, but we'll get to that in just a second. We do have a sweet, and I do mean sweet, blaster. Look at this thing. This is cool. We're kind of zoomed out. Look at this thing. This has got some nice detail. You see the light bouncing off of it? It's got this like sky blue action going on there with the silver. Nice little wash going on over it. It is quite cool. It is a little bit of a pain to get in the hand because of the, uh, the bottom right here, but you can see how that light's bouncing off. I, I like that. I like that a lot. A little shimmery action going on there, along with a jetpack, which is also quite fantastic. There's a lot of like weathering going on with this jetpack. It is it is nicely done. Uh, so very vibrant blue, very saturated blue um, versus what we saw with the Death Watch Mano, which we'll do a comparison later. Um, this is, matches uh, Bo-Katan fairly well. And I think they did a fine job with it. But there's even weathering on the back sides. If you want to have it as a display piece, you can do that. Uh, there are ports back here for the flame effects. And these are posable, articulated action right there. I dig that. Magnetic, thank you for that. We got our normal little flame effects. So these we've seen 400. I don't know how many of these I got laying around the room. I have a bunch. And then we have a couple hands. So it got two relaxed hands actually come on the figure. Might as well get this out here. And, um, I mean, it's, it's very bare bones figure. So two relaxed hands on the figure, two fist hands and a, uh, two blaster holding hands. And as far as the hands go, they're fairly basic. If you've got a Mando figure, they look exactly the same. They even have the same triangle on them. They're just painted slightly different. These are mostly black. There's a little bit of wash going on there but not a whole lot. These, these are fairly basic hands. Diorama base, or uh, we've got right here. This, I like this. I like this little shimmery look they got going on there. It does say Axe Wolf, dig there. And uh, it's got a dynamic flight pole because he's got a jetpack. I dig that. I think that looks good. It matches up with, uh, with Bo fairly well. On the figure though, kind of do this for a second. Uh, on the figure itself, range of motion is gonna suck. Uh, he's got a fat suit on. 
depending on what poses we try to deal with or what pose I end up in the end in the display, I may remove the fat suit. It's been done a hundred times because they keep putting them on there. I understand why, but I still don't like it for posability, right? A little, a little shorter than your Death Watch Mando. We'll compare that a little later. A little stockier. Uh, but other than that, the armor is pretty much exactly the same. You got the same dents. You got the same dents down here on the thigh plates. Uh, the set, it's, it's the same figure, just repainted. However, the paint job is quite good. I do like it. I love this vibrant blue. I love the little the um, silver stripe he's got around the top and the, the chrome, I don't say chrome, but the, the carbonized, you know, gray black color going on there. Very vibrant blue. You got a range finder. Boom, boom, boom. You can, uh, you can maneuver that. Uh, always be mindful of these. This is plastic and they will bend and, you know, you don't want this guy falling over. Does not come in a head sculpt. That sucks. It's kind of a shame. Actually, you got the shaft on that one, buddy. Uh, range of motion. Again, due to the fat suit, not a whole lot. I mean, you can push it a little bit, but that, that fat suit in there is going to limit you a little bit. Uh, you do have double bend on the elbows, which is very nice. Double bend on the knees, very, very nice. And then a split boot, so you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want there. Not a whole lot of limitation there. Ball joint on the, on the head. The limitation is going to come into play with the torso area because... You got a little bit of bend there. Of course, you got that part that's going to kind of fold up on you. And you got a little bit of twist. But if you want to do some crazy dynamic, you're going to, have to play with angles. It's going to be like your angle display. And uh, we're going to have to we we'll have to get a little tricky with that. Paint applications wise, this right here, this battle damage, the paint applications are beautiful. Look at this blue. I mean, that's gorgeous. That weathering is awesome. Back here, no weathering on the actual flight suit. It's pretty much all in the armor. Uh, magnets here for the jetpack. So it does look kind of strange not having a jetpack on, so you pretty much just leave it all on. Uh, although they did Bo-Katan with a Velcro style, so she's supposed to have it on all the time. I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird. They just change it up. Um, his belt is uh, it's pleathery. It's pleathery. Um, that, it, you know, I'm not too worried about it. But you do have this holster, which is going to suck because these magnets on these holsters, where you, you know, undo this thing here and you, you put the the, uh, the weapon in there, those magnets always come unglued. They kind of get, get in the pain. Um, this is one of those figures where you get it because you really like Mando or you really like uh, Mandalorians in general and you want to army build them. That's why you get this. You get it for your Bo-Katan and your Cosca Reeves. Outside of that, you know, maybe not too many people need this. We'll see. Uh, I love the blue. Again, reused parts all around. It's just the paint applications are different. Black uh, boot covers here, brown weathered boots going on here, and then on the bottom it's pretty much flat uh, as far as uh, texture goes. I quite like this. I know some people won't pick it up, which is fine, but... As an army builder, as a Mando, as a Star Wars display and another helmeted figure to put in the collection, I think it's a good one to have. But we need to pose them up and see what it looks like on the display. So this may not be the most exciting release of 2022. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but it is another cool figure to add to the collection because we got a bunch of Death Watch Mandos and we just got Bo-Katan. And this guy will definitely stand out on the shelf alongside those other ones because the coloration. Now, some people are going to say, hey, I'll say some people, I'm probably one of them. Why didn't we get a head sculpt? Like, what the hell? What's the dealio? Uh, I mean, Axe just not cool enough. We got Cosca Reeves, got Boke 10. Like, it's gonna be kind of weird. I don't know. Regardless, the helmet's cool. And if you have them all set up with their helmets and don't use the head sculpts, then I guess it doesn't really matter. It only matters if you uh, use the other two head sculpts, which a lot of people don't really like the Boke 10 head sculpt, which I think is pretty good. Uh, but I do like the coloration. I do dig the uh, the brighter blue, the more saturated blue versus the duller weathered blue of the Death Watch Mando. Uh, he, he's definitely uh, one of those that's going to stand out. The, it's just, I mean, it's a repaint of a Death Watch Mando. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, Hot Toys did an absolute repaint. Uh, it's not something they're really, I mean, they do it all the time. So <laughs> it's not much of a shocker there. Uh, but I do like this. Uh, I did have one issue with mine that you may have occasionally when you get a figure, uh, almost like uh, the regular like Beskar, uh, not Beskar, but Duracell Mando. Sometimes the feet want to pop out. Uh, this guy's left leg popped out a few times during posing. Nothing too crazy. I, I think uh, I think it'll be all right. I think it's just the limitation of the uh, the lower half shoe coverings. Um, but I like it. I think the, the colors are great. 
Uh, but let's get him posed up with some other figures and see how it looks. So we got a pile more Mandos up here. We've got Death Watch Mando, we got Bo-Katan, we're out here, we got some Stormtroopers, got a battle of those guys. And I just wanted to throw together a quick little scene with these, which every time I do these, I destroy my display. I hope you guys understand that. Like my display gets destroyed with like every other video, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna let it ride. So we got our. You, I wanted to put these together so you can see the difference coloration between all three sets. So we got our Death Watch man on the front. You can see the coloration of Axe Woes in the in the middle, just popping off the color, uh, along with Bo Katan, and it works. Like right? you definitely have a fat suit situation posing with. Uh, all the Death Watch Mandos, including Axe Woes, you have a fat suit issue. Uh, most likely will end up removing the fat suits on mine when I finally get it set up and decide what pose I'm going to deal with it. I kind of go with, if I'm going to take that off, then I want to have a particular pose in mind. Or else, if I don't need to, then it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But Axe right there, blasting away at these Stormtroopers, uh, looks quite good in my opinion. All right, wrapping this up, I wanted to just throw these three different Mandos together and just see what the colors look like. Obviously, we got a crazy pose earlier, and, and sometimes that can be a little difficult. So I want to kind of break these out uh, and uh, just compare them. Now, obviously, the Death Watch Mando is going to be on the left. We got previous version of that. We've got the Axe Woves in the middle, which is the exact same armor, although he is shorter and uh, a little stockier. He is shorter than the uh, Death Watch Mando. I mean, it's pretty obvious right there. And then we got... Obviously, bo on the on the right over there, and they all look quite fantastic. And I really have no complaints about either one of them, uh, but you can see the size differences right there. I like them all, but then again, I am big into army building. I'm really hoping maybe sometime soon we get a, uh, a Sabine. That would be freaking awesome. I'm not holding my breath on it, but it would be nice. Uh, but these three together look great. As far as the armor on Death Watch... And um, Axe Wolves, exactly. I mean, it's the exact same armor. I mean, you can see it side by side right there. It, it's it's exact. I mean, they have the same markings. They have the same uh, damage. It's just painted a different color. Although I do prefer the color on Axe versus Death Watch Mando. I just think it's more striking and uh, vivid and saturated. And I think it looks great. Um, if we go down to the bottom, I mean, you can see... It's essentially the same thing. I've got Axe's arm, uh, knee armor floated around there because I was posing him, but uh, essentially the exact same thing. It's, uh, I mean, you see the thigh armor is the exact same. It's just different paint apps, right? Different belts. There's that. Different materials for the, the body suit and whatnot um, for some of it, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. So the question is, do you need Axe Wolves in your collection? Only you can answer that. Uh, I like the figure. Is it going to sell anytime soon? Who the hell knows? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. If you want it, get it. Whether it sells out or not, it's really irrelevant. So there's that. Uh, I'm happy to have it. I really am looking forward to see what we get in season three of Mando. Are we going to get some different versions of Death Watch or Mandos in general? I think the answer is yes. And we'll have another chance to get the same armor uh, and another repaint. <laughs> I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, but like I said earlier, I got mine at Pop Collectibles. That's where I get all my stuff. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below. Uh, there, this is in stock and shipping and you know, check out the other stuff they got going on. Um, but um, I'm pretty stoked for this one. And eventually, I'm going to have to figure out where all these guys are going to go in the display. So somebody keeps asking for a room tour. I'm trying to make that happen. Let's see if we can do it. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Now's a great time to do that. And as always, click what you like. See you next time.